An engineer is designing a runway. She knows that a plane starting at rest needs to reach a speed of 160 miles per hour at takeoff. If the plane can reach this takeoff speed in 60.0 seconds, how far will the plane travel before takeoff? Assume the plane increases speed steadily. All right, so in this problem, it's like complete problems one and two, but we need to do a conversion because we see MPH or miles per hour in 60 seconds. So we have hours and seconds, so we have mixed units. So my rule is going to be, if you see miles per hour in the problem, convert immediately. We never want to write down miles per hour in these five things. But if the problem asks you to answer in miles per hour, like one of the later questions, then you can convert at the end. All right, so let's start with this 160 miles per hour. Remember, miles per hour can be written mi divided by h. We want to change that. We see feet is what we want the answer in. But feet's a distance. Miles per hour is a speed. So we're going to convert this miles per hour. We need to change it to feet per second. All right, so... Let's start by changing miles to feet. Since miles was on the top, we put miles on the bottom, and I know there are 5,280 feet in one mile. So we've gotten rid of miles. Then we need to get rid of hours. So I'm gonna put hours on the top, and I know there are 3,600 seconds, or just 60 times 60, seconds in one hour. All right. Going ahead and converting, if I plug that in, multiplying across the top and dividing across the bottom, I get 235 feet per second. All right, that was the takeoff speed or the speed at the end of the problem. So I can put in 235 feet per second as my final speed. All right, then if I look at the problem, plane started from rest. And so the initial speed of the plane is zero. All right, if I, oh, and I need one more given, that was in the problem, 60.0 seconds. Now I'm ready to start using equations. Since I have the initial speed and the final speed, I can just average those to get the average speed or initial speed plus final speed divided by two. That gives me 117.5. I'm gonna round that to 118 feet per second. Then to get the distance, I could do the average speed times the time, or for me, 60 times 118, and I get 7,080 feet, which is what they were looking for when they asked for how far. How far implies distance, and the units are correct now with feet. All right, then the question asks, could the plane take off on a 6,000 foot long runway? All right, so we've just figured out that the plane needs 7,080 feet to take off. A 6,000 foot runway would end like right here. So the plane would go off the runway before it was able to take off. Anything longer than 7,080 feet would be fine, but anything shorter is not gonna be safe. So the answer is no.